That's fair. Um, but you know second... what you know what is yeah. going on. What's up? Blade is getting a director. Blade is getting a director. How's that for a exactly segue? Are you right. proud of me? That was a great segue, Thank man. You. you should just set up all the all the segments from now on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so you know, it's been it's been interesting because all of the other MCU films that have been released thus or not released but entered production thus far have gotten you know pretty decent bits of news here and there like even ant-man and the lost quantum mania uh michael douglas was you know is back for filming and there are rumors of yellow jacket in the film and all that sort of stuff so Ooh. like <laughs> exactly right um especially with that yellow jacket helmet and in, in the void do you see that oh uh, no i didn't yeah apparently there was a giant yellow jacket head just sitting in the void which in, was uh in loki episode five yep Mm -hmm. interesting kind of interesting but anyways like all, you know all the other films except for maybe fantastic four which is way off of the future have pretty much been getting updates and news except for blade um it's been really interesting because since they announced the film in 2019 at comic-con ever since then you know aside from mahersha ali being blade there's been basically nothing and I, I i don't even think the film has a release date as of yet which is really interesting but um, finally we got news that, and I'm going to butcher this name so badly, but I believe it is Bassam Tariq. How did I do? I, I'm not, I'm not sure. How. Um, but anyways, yeah, no, we are, um, finally getting a director and I mean, again, a relatively unknown director. Um, and that, that has been the case with a lot of the MCU talent, uh, and behind the camera, which is totally fine. Like we got Russo brothers, we got James Gunn before, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So I... Um, really don't have a frame of reference for him, but he, uh, in all of the news headlines, has been cited as the director of a film called Mogul Mowgli, apparently, um, which apparently is pretty good, I think, at least from the headlines that I've been seeing. Um, and aside from that, I mean, really not much to talk about. We don't know anything about him. We don't know anything about the film, but I guess it's, you know, I wanted to talk about it because I guess it's just exciting to get any piece of Blade, um, Blade news. And you know, I mean, so I wanted to ask you a couple questions. Like, you know, first of all, do you know anything about the director? Does it excite you at all? Um, but then secondly, you know, are you excited? Like, how excited are you for the Blade movie just in general? Um, I have never seen, like, I know they made, like, the whole Blade trilogy before um, the MCU even got started. I haven't seen any of those. Um, I am interested for the film. I will be more interested when we get more news about it. Um, I think this is one of those times where uh, they just pick a director that they um, like the work of, who is lesser known, maybe like more of an independent director like Taika Waititi was before directing Thor Ragnarok, or um, or like how they hired Chloe Zhao before uh, Nomadland even released, um, that type of thing. Um, and... I am excited for it, especially with the name drop of vampires in one of the episodes of Loki recently. Right, right. It should be interesting. It would be, it, it's going to be interesting to to see how long they decide to keep Mahershala Ali. Because, I mean, generally, you know, Marvel um, casts younger because they want the actors to stay on for a while. Like, I believe when Chris Evans was cast, he was in his, at least like maybe even late twenties, I, I think. And now he's 40, I believe. Um, but that allowed him to play, you know, Captain America for, you know, 10 plus years. Yeah. But I believe that Mahershala Ali is in his mid to late forties. And so it's, you know, that's an interesting thing of like, I wonder how long they expect him to be playing this role. Um, because obviously it was like we talked about Hugh Jackman a couple episodes ago. And I just think one of the bigger reasons why he's not going to come back long term is just because he's old. Not, you know, old, old, but like in terms of doing physical stunts and being in that kind of a shape, it's just not really a part of his lifestyle anymore. So I don't know. I mean, do you think like do you think that by the time, let's say, phase five is over, that he's still going to be playing Blade? Maybe that's like five or six years later. What do you think? I think it's possible, um, and I just say that because Sam Jackson is over seventy now, and he's that's been, a good point. He's been playing Nick Fury for since Iron Man one, so right. I think there's potential for Mahershala Ali to stick around at least a little bit <laughs> for for a little while, a couple phases. Right. I mean, and again, there is no doubt 
in anybody's mind how good of an actor he is. He has won Academy Awards. He oh, is he is fantastic. If anyone has not fantastic. seen him in Green Book, go watch oh, Green yeah. Book. It's so good. Fantastic. And he did um the one before that, Moonlight, right? And Moonlight um, also. Yes. Just just such a good actor. Like I am I am honestly uh so impressed and I shouldn't be anymore with just the caliber of actor that like Marvel's able to get nowadays, you know? Yeah. Um with their Angelina Jolie's and their Marshall Ali's. So yeah, we're I mean, again, just some little news to get us excited about, you know, other MCU films. It's gonna be good. Absolutely.